Uh, let's do this Channel Five video. What's your favorite kind? Of I want to. I want to see sneakers. I want to see sneakers. Chat. Chat. I will let you know. Ow. Where'd they go? Oh. This has got to be. And I know I said it before. Since we talking about sneakers, even though these aren't technically sneakers. This has got to be, again, the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever worn in my entire life. One of the most uncomfortable, easily. Why these were made, I don't know. Uh, they look comfy as shit, but I'm going to stick with Crocs. I'm going to stick with Crocs. I thought that these would be way more comfortable than they actually are. They're not. Don't do it to yourself. They don't actually look ugly. With the fit that I had on, these was actually fire. It's not really that they too small, but they were uncomfortable as shit. They just were. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Look, chill. I didn't know. You act like, oh my God, you niggas are so idiot. You just idiots, bro. You just idiots, bro. If I knew it was uncomfortable, I wouldn't have bought it. I bought it to see if it was comfortable. I didn't get it in a store. Jesus, fuck. Oh my God, I got a headache. Okay. But what I will say is these are comfy as fuck. These are super comfy. These are actually very comfy. The, except this back part right here. I don't really I'm not in love with that. But these are very comfy. Super lightweight. It feel like I'm holding nothing right now for, to be fair. They actually feel kind of nice, bro. I should put them on right now, low key. They feel comfy as shit. They didn't let the what? Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I'm not letting you know shit. You want to dick suck in the chat all the time talking about L fit, uncle this, uncle that? Shut up, bitch. You're not getting no type of information. And a sneaker. We're going. What kind of person is most likely to have some Fugazi steppers on their toes? What defines authentic drip versus a uh, sort of copycat imitator style? The person themselves. I mean, you can uh, you can express yourself through drip. The way that they walk, the way that they, they talk. How did you develop your drip? Were you born drippy? Every day is a new type of drip. It's one of one. Every day you wake up, you go out, drip like that. You know what I mean? Find some shoes, find some Ricks, some Doc Martens. Is it easy season? I mean, when is it not? Well, if it was easy season all the time, then it wouldn't be a season. That's true. You got the questions on deck. Do you think there's gonna be any rappers? If they got drip, they're gonna be here. Who's your favorite rapper? The NBA Young Sauce Boy. So you don't fuck with Lil Durk then? Fuck Lil Durk. He ain't slide for Vaughn. He's dead, that was his homie, he ain't slide. What is he doing? You'd murder the, the dude who noodle knocked your big, big bro. <laughs> You got no one tells me that. All right, we're here at Sneaker Con. Lil Dirk probably won't be here. I hope they have Galaxy Foams up in here. You want some Galaxy Foams? He's been stuck in 2012, bro. Well, here we are. We're almost there. Sneaker Con. And this nigga, this nigga is dressed like an animated rock star, talking about somebody else is stuck in 2020 or 2012. Anaheim, where? California. Anaheim, California. What do you call those niggas? The I'm you view with the, the I M B U U characters, bro? Like he looked just like Home them. of Disney and <sighs> Give me one sec. Who do you think has more sneakers? Uh Lil Dirk or NBA Youngboy? NBA Youngboy. How come? Cause he's got drip compared to Lil Dirk. Oh shit. Heard of him. About to get some head relaxed. I'm taking a trip to the woods near the farm. Where I'm humping my chick outside. Getting mosquito bits on my arm. My name is Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. Why do they call you Ass Pizza? That's just uh, my Instagram name that I. Oh shit, yams. Have for a long time and now I'm just stuck with it for life. Did you cop any drip in there? Absolutely not. There's no drip in there. A lot of corny shit in there? Yeah. Can I find some cool stuff? No. You see anybody with Galaxy Foam Posits? Dude, I've been looking for Galaxy Foams for a long time. So if you're looking for those, I respect that. Are you, where are you going? Uh, we're going to crash Wedding Con. Wedding Con? It's upstairs. You should come. All right, we're now inside the Anaheim Convention Center. Me and Austin are pulsing with excitement. Are you guys here for Sneaker Con or Wedding Con? Wedding, wedding. What's it like up there? Is it fun? It's nice. It's nice. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right here is a bunch of ladies who want to get married. They're inspired. They're at Wedding Con. They're missing one thing. A bunch of handsome men. Wedding Con seems like a pretty good place to find a wife. They fuck with weddings. We're at the Wedding Con. Sneaks. We're going to see what's going on. We're right above Sneaker Con. Men's Warehouse? Where's Men's Warehouse? Oh, fantastic. It's the ring bear here. He's in our uh, charcoal tuxedo. Looks like he got decapitated. Uh, you know, it happens. How did he lose? To a baby? What the fuck? Anyway, hey, where are these conventions taking place? I want to go to one low-key. They look fun. That's what I'm saying. I should visit. This is a uh, head cartel situation, or you think it was like Middle East? I'm not going to Florida. I guess I'm never going to a convention, and I'm not going to Florida. I'm not going to Florida. I'd say Middle East. It's harp time, foo. Forty percent off, custom tuxedos, satin lapel. Are you married? I'm not. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck are you doing then? This is just like the worst shit ever, bro. Why are you advertising? What are you guys selling here? Wedding dresses, bridesmaid dresses. Are you married? No, not yet. Do you want to be married? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully he just proposes soon. I'm waiting on it. Oh, you got a man. <laughs> None of the niggas at the convention are married. Man? Yes. What's his name? Chance. You need to hurry up. Oh. You think open bar is a good call for a wedding? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. When I got married actually, I blacked out on margaritas. Did you throw up? Yeah. My husband, he even wiped it from my face. That's love, baby. What's your favorite thing about your soon-to-be bride? Uh, I think she's I thought that was her son. He's really smart. <laughs> That's a lot of things that I'm incapable of doing. Was it love at first sight? Um, I think it was a, a couple. No, not initially. It took a lot of uh, interaction. Is he is he amazing or what? Oh, he's that's oh, amazing. Weird. Yeah, amazing. Like completely. Do you mind if I ask you a question real quick? What is your secret? Love. Uh, my most famous compositions are actually dedicated to my wife. And you know my special, most special concert ever? You may want to hear this. I played in the delivery room during the birth of my second daughter. One of my CDs is actually called Harp Love and... You didn't hold your wife's hand? Your wife is screaming in pain and you decided to play? You decided to lay down a beat as opposed to comfort? What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga decided to just break out with the instruments while his daughter was coming out the womb? That's crazy. Birth, the last four minutes of that CD is the original recording. You can hear the first cry of our daughter. Is there any event that you would? I'm sorry, bro. If I am lucky enough to get my kids first cries onto a song, that is going to be the most beautiful thing that you ever hear. And I'm not releasing it until I'm not releasing it until uh, I can lay it over an instrumental. Like it's going to be the hardest intro of all time. What the fuck? I, okay. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Jesus Christ. Would it harp for? Believe it or not, I even played for a divorce. <laughs> Wedding con, baby. Excuse me, sir. Are you getting, are you getting married? Oh, yeah. 
Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited I'm marrying this gorgeous woman right here. But she's got to take care of all the planning. Is that why you guys are here at the wedding con? That's right. Are you interested in going downstairs to the sneaker convention that's also happening in this convention center? Uh, no, I already have shoes. What kind of sh Oh my god, bro. He got the fake Tims with the jeans over the tongue. Shoes are those? Uh, those are... I'm not sure exactly. what kind but uh my fiance got those for me too as a uh, birthday gift so they look pretty cool i got it on the <sighs> yo bitch do not fuck with you bro walmart avias are 35 bucks oh there you go yeah i'm all about being frugal so you know mm -hmm. as one should be you got something to save for yeah exactly <laughs> yeah what do you call that one i'm a little i was expecting something different i was expecting there to be a lot of brides Looking for a groom. It seems like everyone here is just trying to pitch something, like uh, wedding dresses. They're definitely trying to make some money here. Good for them. I don't know what to, what to really feel about this place. But I think it's better than sneaker con. That's one thing. It wasn't so long ago you didn't need very many fingers to count the different styles of basketball sneakers. And the price, well, you could buy a decent pair of sneakers for under $30. Way under. Alas, those days are long gone. And in their... When could you ever get a decent pair of sneakers for under $30? When? When was that a thing? Not while I was alive. Skechers? This is some different shit. I don't know what she's talking about, bro. Cynthia Wildin place a culture where high price kicks mean status power and sometimes even big time bucks what's up geez what is this stance i like their shoes though all of them do you guys get any shoes yeah uh, yeah we did okay what's your favorite shoes that you got uh probably the off-white lot dunks what um, do you guys think of my uh avias i was about to say those might be the worst shoes out right now donald trump 2024 I'm Art for Abstracts. I'm coming out this year as an artist. I got signed by the same company that owns Pablo Picasso's estate. Do you fuck with uh, Van Gogh? Yeah, I definitely do. That's my art. This is for dabs. You scoop it and then you put it in the banger while it's hot and then you dab. Oh my god, there's so many sneakers in here. This shit is crazy. Man, this actually is kind of crazy. <laughs> Alright, where are we at right now, guys? Sneaker Con Los Angeles. Is there any kind of shoe you guys would just never wear? The J Balvin Jordans. You don't like J Balvin? Nah. What, what grade are you guys in? Uh, seven. What do you want to be when you grow up? Either a porn star or, a, or like a professional like race car driver. You want to spit a few bars? Alright. This is a diss track on my homie Zach. I'm he said either a porn star or a professional race car driver. And this nigga asked for a verse. Yo, like, white niggas are just different. I'm about to bounce back. You look like a robot shirt back. Hey, got a book cut in the back. Hey, you look like a rat. Drop that bitch. Hey, you're silly and whack. Hey. Bitch. That's a diss song to your friend Zach? Yeah, Z A T C H spelled Zach. Why don't you like Zach? Trample, Hall like He's a nice guy, but he roasted me. Okay, damn. Yes. Have you been in a fight before? No. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming to SneakerCon. Thank you for really sharing your project with us and educating people today on like what NFTs are because it's so new. There's so many you know, scams and things happening, like anything new, right? It's the foundation of a new type of culture, you know? Absolutely. Drip or drown? Drip. Why well, he had to take so long to think about it? Because drip is essential. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's all I got. I saw a pedophile nearby. Where? I don't know, but I think he's over there. Oh, they need to go kill him. What's your preferred way of execution? Look, I, it ain't my job to do it, but somebody else got to do it. What's your favorite kind of shoes? Jordan's. You Where? guys run this shit. Okay. What? Wait, I'm confused. I'm confused at what's going on. Okay. Oh, you got some okay. nice shoes on today. You got, I like yeah, those, I do. Bro. This is like the ultra dad shoe. Yeah. There are a lot of shoes yeah. that have taken form over the last few years that got their soul from this shoe right here. You could probably trade your avias all the way up to a galaxy foam here. How? 
You have to trade. Have so to where would I begin my trade journey? Uh, the trading, the pit. trading pit. Oh. The trading pit. Those guys are willing to wheel and deal. So I think you could take those off, wheel and deal for something else, and then just keep working your way up around. It gets lit in the pit. I'm about to fuck so I cash up on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can you trade me for these avias? Peep game. You don't fuck with these ones? I'm good. I'm good. Chat. Oh my god, I forgot to. I forgot to. I forgot the shoe. I forgot the shoe. They like three thousand. They like three thousand. They blue. Oh my god, I forgot what they call, bro. Oh my god, bro. They like a. They like a light blue. They got. They like a light blue, and like. Oh, I saw them a while ago. They. I think I still got it open in a tab. Not on this computer though. It's on my. It's on my. Uh, it's on my uh it's on my uh on my laptop. I feel like I should go I should go find it. I'm not gonna do it right now. I can't do it. How am I not homeless? What the fuck? I didn't buy them. I just said that I I'm saying that I wanted them. Look at y'all immediately ready to dick suck. I didn't even say I bought them. Niggas wild. Oh my god, bro. Nigga said off white unks. Alright, dude. Can y'all like for real just like for once like be useful and like actually support? Like on oh God, like is that too much to ask? Or like you is, is it just not in your capacity? Is that Supreme? Costco. I'll do a sticker, that's it. A sticker? Yeah. Actually, yeah, a shirt. A shirt? Yeah. What shirt do we got going? Make him say, ah. You down to trade? Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude, are you serious? Yeah. What's your name, bro? Brian. Brian. Andrew, good to meet you, dog. What do you think of that trade? That trade was impressive. He went for it, I loved it. So what comes next? So are you shoeless now? You need some new shoes, or 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 you could walk like that. Oh, let's go find somebody who will take a trade. So check it out. I have this uh, vintage like Master P shirt from the late '90s, New Orleans Master P, no limit. Carter, he traded it for his shoes. He don't got shoes no more. Man, what do we got at the booth? Who needs shoes at SneakerCon anyway? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We keep most of our shit at the booth. So what's it like growing up in Boise? I I feel like I had a different part of Boise that everyone else. Isn't Boise in Indiana? You mean to tell me this convention is in Indiana? Oh, I'm in Idaho. No, 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 I'm in Idaho. 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 Chill. Chill. I'm in Idaho. I'm in Idaho. I'm in Idaho. Yeah, chill, 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 chill. That's not dumb. That's not dumb. I just, I, on God, I'm in Idaho. I swear to God. I swear to God. You could have, you could have gave me anything else. Any other I, you could have gave me and I would have said the same thing. I would have said the exact same thing. Oh my God, bro. Todd, I was doing some stupid ass shit when I was a kid. I did my time for what I did. And uh, now we're just switching, just running in a business with my boy Carter over here. What's jail like in Idaho? The guards treat you like shit, bro. Like, they don't give a fuck about you at all. So you just have to like, you just have to deal with it. Put your head down and like try to get out of it. Did you have to click up with like the woods or the AB? I kind of kicked it outside my race. I don't like racism, you know? I actually got like shit on by some of the, the brothers. I couldn't kick it with the white boys because I kick it with like the brothers and then the, the Serenios, you feel me? What are you gonna trade him, mom? What you got? Are you really doing this? I got oh, you. shit. I got you on the shirt even though it's not vintage. No, Damn, please. thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Sick, so what are these? Signal Orange Man. Jordan 1 mids, yeah. Oh. They're like patent. They came out pretty recently. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Moving up. And what was your Instagram, by the way, bro? Uh, we're Boise Barter Market. Started off with Jan Sports, and now I'm Air Jordan and Cash App. The best way to financial. Shut up, five. Man. 160 bucks for these. 160 bucks, brand new. Don't put no feet in them. Hey, you guys, you guys fucking with these? Oh shit! Another oh, green. Damn. Okay. We're going up. That's so fucked up. Sick ass train. So how's everything going? Things are going well. I'm standing outside. I'm showing people my art. Somebody gave me a box of free Yeezys. Hell yeah. Well, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just got some new shoes. I that box ain't free.
You're going to find out later. Lost my shoes, but I'm wondering if you would be willing to trade uh, a painting for a pair of Air Jordans. For a pair of Air Jordans? Yeah. Yes. So maybe you like the big one? Yeah, definitely. The big one. Really? I was going to give this to his police but outside. This is yes. sick as hell. How would you describe this style? I would describe this style as um, an explosion of emotions, silent but very vibrant. AKA, I just threw shit, by shit I mean paint, at, at, the, at the canvas. And it came out, you know, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Hell yeah, it is. But yeah, I mean, these Jordans are pretty, pretty big. Okay. Bro, she's fucking... Why wouldn't you just leave them in a box and sell them later? Not that they would sell for much, but just like, wow. I like that. I like that. I like all those shoes. You know what I'm saying? I like that people take the shoes. I like that people take the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Yeah, I know. I know. She creasing them. I know. I know. I like that people take the shoes seriously. You know what I'm saying? Didn't these just come today? Well, these didn't come today. I forgot. These was like a couple days ago. I don't think I've worn these yet, to be honest. Eh, they all right. I'll find something to do with them. I got these shorts. They might actually go with these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is kind of kind of all right. I got some shoes that'll go with this. I figured it out actually. I got I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm not wild. They just happen to be right here. They're right here. All right, bro. That's crazy. Niggas on dick once again. Can't do shit. Can't say shit. Can't be shit. It is what it is, though. I expect nothing less from a chat full of dick suckers. That's crazy.